Hello, hello. This is going to be a short video showing you how to work with Civil 3D surfaces uh, between drawings and um, linking them up with with the data shortcuts, um, so that you can you know, just better work with them throughout your projects without recreating them in each individual drawings. So. As a start, uh, you can see that I've got a Civil 3D surface as an example. Um, you would obviously save your drawing in some type of project folder. Uh, in this case, I'm just working on my project folder on my desktop. I think I've got a different one here. Let's say this is my project folder, and let's say we save the drawings in uh, the drawing folder. Let's call it the base drawing. Um, one, once you've done that, you can go over to your tool space and the prospector tab and right click on data shortcuts and firstly you have to set the working folder for your projects um, that you do by doing that and you just click on the main project folder for that you click OK then it doesn't look like anything happens but you actually did something then you create a new data shortcut for the project folder and then you can give it a name in this case since we've got some type of folder structure that we would like to, to, to maintain you can always go and give this name something 02 let's call it civil 3d civil 3d folder and then you can assign project templates as well in this case I'm not going to do that but that's where you can use specific templates click OK then you'll see this updated to that specific um, folder then if you go to that specific project you can see that still 3D automatically created this folder over there and in this case it's still relatively empty but that, that's what it created for us um, now if we go back to this you can see that we do not have a surfaces uh, data shortcut created yet um, we would like to use this surface that we created in a different drawing so by if you want to do that you go over to this you right click on that and then you create data shortcuts this brings up this little menu and then you can tick whatever entity you would like to create a shortcut for and in this case we've only got that surface one so we click OK that brings up well this so then you can see that it created a data shortcut for surface one let's just save this drawing now and then let's assume that I opened another drawing either on another computer or the same computer and I have well I had this AutoCAD open initially then you can see that there's no data shortcut set and we can't see any surfaces to link this up with uh, the previous project that we worked on you go over to this tab and then you say set working folder so then you go back to set working folder and you go choose the specific working folder that we created that civil 3d entity in you click OK absolutely well that's gonna happen and then you go and you say set data shortcuts project folder and then you can see OK cool that's it I think it automatically set that in this case but anyway then you can see that happen and then you can see the surface that we created the other time but and the surfaces in this specific drawing we do not have any surfaces yet so then when you pull in that surface from there you say just create reference then you can rename this let's call this surface one copy well not copy let's just call it surface one from other drawing and we say OK now you can see that it pulled in that surface from the data shortcuts and it's got a different name and that little icon right there indicates that it's linked well it's a data shortcut link you won't be able to edit the surface with definitions like you normally could but you can do perform almost any other civil 3d command on the surface such as grading towards it taking quick profiles and so on um, without too much effort um, yeah so you can do that 
quick profile. Blah 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 blah. Just to show you that it's working. Obviously, it's giving me an error, but there you can see you've got a s some some profile on that. Anyway, so then you can use this drawing, oh, the, the surface, in any other drawings without having to recreate it. Um, this will obviously keep your file sizes. Um, down and easier to work between drawings with multiple surfaces and you can not edit this surface the data shortcut surface from this drawing you will have to go back to your your base drawing and edit it over there which will then um, modify let's actually show this which will modify the surface in the other drawing so I'm going to save that again then I'm going back to this one and then we can let's cr just refresh that see if it j updates it, no it does not, let's refresh that okay it's synchronize update reference name, let's update the reference name, I don't care Oop, there you can see it oh cool, update the reference name and just change the reference anyway but as you can see it updated the surface and then of course the profile would have been changed as well uh, if somebody else well let, let's let's rather start here, if I open a new drawing for instance um, let's go to this one if I open a new drawing you will see that AutoCAD automatically keeps the working folder set um, what you used previously so you don't have to go and set this up for every single new drawing that you that you link up and um, that helps quite a bit to 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 ease the working pains if somebody else wants to um, link their drawing to this specific project they will obviously have to right click on this uh, set the working folder first and then set the data shortcut for this specific project anyway thanks for watching um, I hope this helps. Let me know if you've got any questions. Um, and thank you very much. Goodbye.